Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Roblox Studio video where today I'll be showing y'all how to make a client sided NPC spawner where NPCs are going to be given the character of a random friend that we select out of the player's friends list. And we can also establish a default friends list so we can fall back on this if it's a new created account, they don't have a friends list yet, or they just don't add people. But, anyways, let's get right into it. Since we're going to be basing this primarily on a module script, we can begin by going to replicated storage clicking our plus sign and inserting a new module script. And I'm gonna be calling this our NPC handler. And in replicated storage, we can also go back to the plus sign and insert a new folder. And we can call this friends or our friends list. And we will also need to be generating a basic new NPC. So we can go back into our main tab, click on the avatar tab, click on rig builder. And if you want it to be R15, you can select R15. If you want it to be R6, you can select R6. But once you do that, we can generate a new block avatar and it will generate a rig. And we can simply drag this down into our replicated storage. And the last thing we need to do is create a new server side script. So we can go to our server script service, click the plus sign and insert a new normal script. And we can call this our friends handler. So our goal here is to use our friends handler script to receive any time a player joins or leaves the game. And when they do this, we'll create a new folder in our friends folder and generate their friends list into that. So then what we can do is get our NPC handler module script and we can go through that friends list. Every time we want to generate an NPC, we can generate a random friend off that friends list and put them onto an NPC and spawn them in the game. So we'll begin in our friends handler script. What we need to do first is get our replicated storage in our friends folder. So what we can do local replicated storage is game get service replicated storage and then to get our friends folder we just do local friends is replicated storage find for child friends we can drop a few lines and what we're going to be using here is the official documentation function for get friends async what this is going to do is going to show us how to get our friends list we can go through it and then we can modify this to our liking by using this function to get our friends list and add them into the folder so for this function, we can begin by creating a local function and I'll just call this get pages and we get our variable of pages. So all we need to do with this is return a wrapped function. So coroutine.wrapped function. We get our page number. So local page is just one. And then while true, what we're gonna do is go through. So for number, info in iPairs, pages, get current page, do we're going to get our coroutine.yield and then we're going to get our info and our page and then outside of this we can see if our pages are finished so if pages that is finished then we just break we drop a line here and then we get our pages advance to next page async and our page number we'll just add one to it but anyways what we need to do now is receive our player join message so what we can do game.players.player added connect function so we connect the function every time a player gets added we can get our variable of player and what we first need to do is get the user id of the player so we can get local user id is player.user id and then we can create a new folder so what we do local folder is instance.new we get a new folder we parent it to our friends list in this folder's name is just going to be the user ID of our player. So what we need to do now, we need to get our friends list from the server so we can get local pages is game dot players, get friends, async user ID of the player. So this will get the friends list of the player. And then what we can do now, we can use this function up here. We can drop a line, search through the pages. So all we need to do for this, for info, page, in get pages, pages do. So what this is gonna do is gonna get all the info of every player in the friends list. And what we're gonna do with this, we can insert the found user, or the found friend into our friends list that we just created. So local ID value or user ID value is gonna be a new integer value. So instance.new integer value. And we can parent this to our folder drop a line and then the name of our ID value is just going to be friend and then the actual value of our integer value 
is going to just be info.id and now what we need to do we can drop all the way to the bottom and we can receive our player leaving message so we can do game.players.player removing connect function the same way we did it with our player joining we get our variable of player so what this is going to do it's going to remove the friends list from the server storage so it can just remove it from the server so what we'll do local user id so we'll get the player's user id player.userid we can find the folder so local find folder is just going to be friends find first child user id so if they have a folder already in the friends list and then what we can do if find folder then we just remove it so find folder destroy and so now that we've finished our friends handler script we can go back to our npc handler module script you know what we do in here we can spread this out a little bit and we can get our same friends folder so local replicated storage is game get service replicated storage we can get our friends folder so local friends is replicated storage find first child friends and what we'll be doing with this will be creating our npc so what we can do function module create client you can call this create npc or whatever you want we need to get our player and our user id as our variables so the first thing we'll do is locate our friends list and what we can do for this local friend folder is friends find first child player dot user id so now when we go to get our friend we can search through this folder and now we do we need to grab a random friend and what we can do for this if not user id so the point of this user id right here is for us to send in a specific player so if we don't send in a specific player then what we can do is we can check if they do not have a friends list so if not friends folder or number of friends folder get children is less than two then so if they do not have a friends list then what we'll do is grab our default friend list so what we can do for our default friends list we can go into our friends folder insert a new folder call this our default and all we need to do here is insert a new integer value and in this integer value you can paste in a user id so i'm going to paste in my own you can paste in your friends you can paste in your developers whoever made the game you can put as many as you want in here but i would recommend you put at least two so i'm just going to copy this i'll put myself twice and all we need to do now is we can assign our friend folder and we can just put that as our default so friends find first child default so now that we've specified what our friend folder is we made sure that they have one we can go here we'll find a random friend and all we need to do for this user id is going to be our friend folder get children and for our number math.random one through the number of friend folder get children now what we need to do we need to clone our rig so drop down after this end we can put we can clone our rig so what we need to do local rig is replicated storage find first child rig and all we do for this is we clone it and now when we go to actually turn our rig into the player's friend we're going to need some overload protection because what this can do sometimes if the roblox servers are down or if things are running slow then it will actually mess up your script it won't generate the npc and then your script will crash and it won't work for the rest of the time the server is up so all we need to do for this local reset is zero so now we can do attempt to generate the npc so for this we can just repeat and every time we repeat we can add one to our reset so reset plus equals one and now what we need to do is actually p call a function to make sure it works so we can get local success and error is p call function and for this function what we can do rig.parent is game.workspace and since they're in the workspace we can now load this description onto them so we can get our description local description is game.players get humanoid description from user id and we just get our user id and what we can do now rig.humanoid we can apply the description to it so apply description description and now after we p call this function i would recommend you put task.wait just to make sure it doesn't overload and then if this takes more than 10 attempts or 100 attempts however many you want we can do if reset equals equals 10 then we destroy our rig 
and we break the loop to make sure it doesn't crash and then we repeat this until success so once we successfully generate our npc or if we don't successfully generate this if it breaks we can put if rig then return a rig just to make sure that this doesn't mess up if we don't have a rig if it gets destroyed right here we make sure we have one before we return it and if not we return nothing to make sure our script can remain functional and then lastly in this module we want to make sure up here that after we get our friend folder after we get our user id at the very end of this we want to put dot value because if not this won't generate the npc it's not getting the value it's just getting the actual int value itself the instance of it so now that we have this we can go into our testing and we see in our game we can go to replicate storage we can go to our friends list and we see my friends list here we see it generated all of my friends and it's going to generate their user id in the values so now if we want to spawn in these npcs we can actually put a local script so we'll go back into the game now back in the game we can go into replicated first we can go into starter gui wherever you want your script to be i'm going to put it in replicated first so it starts right away we enter the new local script and i'll just call this call script so all i'm going to do in this call script is I'm just going to require the module loaded into this script and I'm just going to make it repeat a loop every two seconds where it spawns in a new NPC. So all I'm going to do is local replicate storage is game get service replicate storage. And then for our module script, if you have this in replicated first, it might actually get the module script before your game loads in. So what we need to do local module is require replicated storage wait for child npc handler if you don't have your local script in replicated first you can just put dot npc handler but i do this just to be safe you know what we can do now drop two lines while task dot wait to do you can just do module create client and then our player so game dot players dot local player now we can go ahead and test this script out so now in our game we can turn around we see that we have our npcs they're going to continue spawning in they spawn in every two seconds for me you can set this to spawn them however you want you can spawn them at a spawn location you can spawn them wherever you want across the map but we see that it generates a random friends avatar i have it set to where it only generates one friend but it will generate any friend you want but now that we have this completed that will do it for this video thank you all for watching if you have any ideas or suggestions please let me know but anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one.